TV presenter and singer, Cat Lego Mapple via his legal team is going for the money, asking his estranged partner Monique Muller and her brother, women for change in the SA Film and Television Awards SAFTA for an apology and retraction including R1 Emmy and compensation for damages. A letter of demand dated September 2nd was sent to Muller, the former partner of Mabo and her brother, Seth. Mabo made headlines last year when a video went viral on social media, resulting in him being embroiled in cheating and domestic violence allegations. In the video, Mabo is seen confessing that he cheated on Monique and later denied the allegations of abuse. An additional letter was sent to women for change and soon after the allegations surfaced, Mabo was suspended from Sabt's Expresso show in Sotis. This was after all advertisements for Oyatsu rents were also removed to show their stance against women abuse. On Thursday afternoon, Mabo's attorney, Andre Johnston, made it clear that they would continue with instructions as indicated in the letters of demand given to each person and would wait for three weeks. I have given instructions at my office before I left for court this morning Thursday for these letters to be sent to each one, he said. My client has suffered loss of income and I will vindicate his name. I have been given instructions and we will be proceeding with it. Mabel was arrested earlier this year for being in contempt of court and appeared at the Goodwood Magistrates Court for the case involving his ex. The letters of demand state that between October 17 and 18 last year, Seth maliciously posted three stories on Instagram, falsely alleging Mabel with domestic violence against his sister. The letter further states that Seth had ruined Mabel's reputation and his ability to earn an income. Via his legal team, he instructed the following, an apology and retraction and to tender an amount of R1M and compensation for damages. A similar letter was also addressed to Muller stating that she caused a video to be published which recorded that Mabo had extramarital affairs with a third party, that he had given her a sexually transmitted disease, ruined her life, and that he was f-king disgusting and other private and personal matters. The additional demand states that Muller wrongfully alleged that Mabo, at the time, had three sexual assault charges against him and was charged for public drinking. The lawyers state that allegations are factually untrue and caused injury to Mabo's reputation and ability to earn an income. Muller is also instructed to give an apology with retraction including R1M for compensation of damages including costs of attorney. Both parties are given between three weeks and 60 days to respond. Muller responded stating she found this another ploy by Mabo as a media stunt and was unaware of the letter. I am not interested in entertaining this as I have just been made aware that this is another media stunt by Mr. Mabo's attorney that just said to me you underestimate me Ms. Muller when I asked him about who leaked it. It is quite convenient for the journalists to know that I have received this letter when I myself have not yet received it, but was given this information by the media first. Johnston confirmed his team had issued the letter to Muller using her personal email address. In the letter addressed to Women for Change, they state that on May 7 they sent an email to various places of employment such as the Expresso show on SABC3. Another letter was sent to the Softies, regarding allegations of an interview of sexual assault of three women and that of sexual assault rape. Seth Muller, Women for Change and the Softies did not respond to repeated requests for comment.